Ayan. And it's Sunday. And I have decided to make another video today. A good one. I should have done this on a Monday re Monday review, but I wanted to do it today and get it over with. Um, I'm going to talk about mascaras I have right now in my makeup collection that I'm using. And I'm going to let you know these are my favorite mascaras. And they're, of course, they're all drugstore, but I'm going to let you know on each individual one what I like about those. And then, at the end, I found two of the products that I purchased that I did not, have not showed y'all. Um, I know I said I was going to make a video on my shopping haul, which I did, and I found two of the products. But I couldn't find the rest of them. Um, the other ones I bought. But I already did my Monday um, um, makeup. Not makeup. Monday review already video. I've already uploaded that video to my computer. But I haven't uploaded it to YouTube yet. And then I did my shopping haul video with the makeup already as well. And I forgot to put these products in it. And I had some other ones like. I think it was five more products, and I found two out of the five, so I got three more to look for. They're around here, but I just could not find them. My desk is a total mess. I play um, Happy Acres, so I got little, I'll show you, like, index cards with things on it. I got two farms. One is Kai's farm, and one is King Taylor TV farm. I got two farms and it's like cold so anyway let me get into the mascaras this is one of the mascaras that i was using if you saw my shop my stash this mascara is empty this is the maybelline colossal it's in classic black i have used this mascara full size before it is a very good mascara this one doesn't smell too good it went bad but it's also empty kind of heavy but if you look at the wand if you look at the wand the wand is pretty good I like the wand it's thick it's a thick wand and when the when you get the product on it and you do your eyes it's really good it also works for your under eyes because it's kind of small when you get samples like this and use them under your under eyes it's good I love getting samples like this this one um, if I can remember, I will link her name in the description box or down below, um, Tiffany's, um, I will try to link her description down below. One of her videos, she does a shop my, not shop my stash, she does, she used to do shop my stash, she don't do that no more. She does a sample Sunday video. And you can also win a giveaway, which is a makeup bag with 10 samples. And she just recently put a little lip pen in there that you can get. And I'm hoping to win another, another um, giveaway from her, a sample Sunday giveaway. Um, I'm hoping I do. Because that would be awesome. She is a good, good YouTuber. And she just did a, I think it's a Sephora VIP sale haul. She did a Sephora haul. And some of the products that she had, that she had bought, I was like, oh, and like, I need to get another choice stuff out. But I got enough skincare right now, and I've got enough makeup right now, my husband says. But I'm like, we'll see about that. This is one of my favorite mascaras. This is the LA Color Perfect Curve for Volume Mascara. And this is only like $2 at Family Dollar. And I think you can get these at Dollar General too for 2 bucks. I have not seen them yet at Dollar Tree, but. And I haven't seen anybody hauling them from Dollar Tree. Something on my nail here. 
but anyway this pretty good size got a good amount of product the wand is what i like look at the wand i got an argument let me put that I think the wand is cool because if you look at it, it's got a little curve to the wand. And I like that that it I like that it has a little curve. I know it's got some mascara right there, but I like the little curve in it because you can go upwards with it and you can pull your I always pull my cheek in here and go up with it as well on the bottom lash and that's what I like about it it works wonders for bottom lashes as well as the top lashes um a friend of mine on here lashes Tony XO she did a I believe it was a Sephora haul VIP haul and she had bottom lashes and top lashes it's so beautiful to me it looked like letter C like the letter C looked so beautiful her eyes did really really beautiful the next mascara that I'm totally into and love this is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara one of the best mascaras ever now Lashes Tony XO says to try the one in the black one it's one of her favorites and she likes it better than this one I looked for it at Kroger's Friday when I went shopping and I bought some makeup. I was looking for the black one and I told my husband I want to get the Sky High Mascara but I want to get the black one and test the black one and have the one in a pink package. They didn't have it. <clears throat> Kroger's did not have it. Now Walgreens has it but I didn't have any money to get it at Walgreens. This one is, look at it. Let me set this down look at the wand that wand is perfect it's got a little curve but not much but that wand under the bottom lashes mm -hmm. and top lashes mm -hmm. perfect 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 if you have not tried any of these mascaras that i am talking about that are drugstore mascaras that are supposed to be this is would say looking at the package of the Sky High Mascara it looks like it'd be in a high end range because of the packaging looks like a high end mascara packaging then I have here this one is Maybelline the Falsies Lash Lift this is another one of my favorites I remember when I saw this on TV and it came out on TV and it was a hype. Everybody was talking about it. And my son, my oldest son and I went to, I believe, we were at Walgreens. I believe we were at Walgreens and they had the Dr. Pepper 2 liters for a dollar and he wanted the Dr. Pepper. So we went and I said, okay, I'll get you three Dr. Peppers because they're a dollar of each. So we get three of them. I picked this mascara up. I said, son, it was with his money. I said, I want this mascara. Will you buy it for me? And you buy this for me. And I will... And you can get your three sodas and you should have money left over. And I think when I purchased, I didn't just purchase this. I purchased some other makeup. I'm not letting him know. <laughs> no, he knew. He saw. His friend was with us and I said, don't they have their Mountain Dews on sale over there? A family Dollar? He goes, yeah, they're a dollar. I said, we'll go over there and get one. And I told Jeffrey, I said, no, no, no. We'll get a cold drink at the tobacco shop. Make sure they're like a dollar fifty, which is cheaper. And now you gotta pay two dollars and something for a twenty ounce soda. But anyway, um, let me show you the wand on this one. It's it's a perfect wand as well. I love the wand on this one. 
not chunky, but not too chunky. But it's good, and you see the point on the ends, the mascara on the ends. I usually, when I get mascara on the end of mine like that, I usually find the hole and look it in the hole so you don't have it on there. But sometimes I always do get it on there. The mascara I'm using now is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carb in Carbon Black. Now when I bought the first mascara of this that I bought, I had, my husband had gave me a hundred dollar gift card one year for Christmas. And he was telling me to go buy, when, you know, use it for whatever I want. Each of us got a gift card. The kids, I think, got a $50 gift card and I got a $100 gift card. And he said, y'all spend it on whatever you want. Well, I bought this mascara when we were at Walmart's Christmas shopping that year and he said I'm going to get a $250 gift card but I'm getting three $50 gift cards and one $100 gift card. 100 for you if you each want a 10. I had picked up this mascara and had my husband buy it. He put it in there and when I got home with some of the other Christmas presents we did buy we used to buy the kids would get for Christmas a pack of underwear, a pack of socks, and we'd get them a t-shirt. And that's what we got them. And my oldest son collected Hot Wheels, so we'd get him a Hot Wheel. Or we'd get them Pokemon cards. And my second son's still in the Pokemon. He's like Pokemon Go. But anyway... When I got home and I had, I had all the gift cards, my husband said, whatever you want to, well, it wasn't close to Christmas yet, because he put them gift cards up. We got stocking stuff for candies and stuff like that. I'm like, okay. So I told him, I said, here, go through these Christmas cards, because I had a box of Christmas cards to put the gift cards in the Christmas cards. And... I think when we bought this stuff, the kids weren't with us when we got the gift cards and the other stuff. They weren't there. But he said, well, we will take the kids shopping. And I will let the kids pick something out for me and you and each of them. Like I said, I did buy this mascara. When I got my $100 gift card, I came home and I waited until the next day. I got on. I got on my computer and I ordered me another one of these mascaras off of Amazon. And I've been ordering these off of Amazon because right now you can get it, I think it's for $15.95. And I think it's plus shipping or free shipping. You get two of these. And I like this mascara as well. And. Like I said, I like the wand. It's fluffy. It's perfect. This is a good mascara. So if you haven't tried any of the mascaras that I'm actually showing you in this video, feel free to go out and get it. One of my most favorite mascaras, now they advertise this on TV, and there used to be a friend of mine that used to be on YouTube, and I used to watch his channel. She's one of the first ones I started watching. And she ramped. And Ray, she was a lip balm fanatic. I mean, she put like nothing but lip balm. But every once in a while, she would do mascaras or do makeup. She wasn't really into makeup as she was into lip balm because at the time, she was, I think she was like 15. Years of age, and now she's probably older than that, but she's like 15 years of age. 
and she always talked about middling rocket mascara. She talked about how good it was. She raved about the smooth on the lashes. She raved about the wand. And when you buy it, the wand is the blue and pink for your new hair, and it comes out black. Just look at that wand. Hang on, let me set this one. See how gorgeous that wand is? And she raved and raved and raved about, I don't know why I just smelled that, but she raved about this mascara, and I went out and I smelled buying this mascara, and this was at one time, this one and the Ramel London Cape mascara were the ones that I mostly bought off the stuff and always used. And the L'Oreal Voluminous. And then, I still buy them. And I think the Ramel London Cape mascara, I don't think you can get that one anymore. That's why I haven't been able to buy it as back up. Another mascara I got. This is a Maybelline Snap Scrap Mascara. It's not actually one of my faves. I do per I will purchase this again if you know a coupon or something like that, but it's not something I would say ooh about. But I do like the wand because it's a thin one. It's very, very like not curved curved, but a little curved. And Not that flexible, but it's good. It is a mascara I would purchase again, yes, but it's not something I'm going to keep purchasing when I run out. But it's a good mascara. So, those are the six, seven mascaras, counting the one that I put in there, made seven. Awesome mascaras, good mascaras, love the mascara. Now let's get into the other two products that I have found that I thought were so awesome that I did not, could not find these. I had bought some makeup and I could not find them. I think I had three more somewhere around here. I had to find them. Mine, like I said, my office is a mess. This is the Burnt Bees Rescue Balm Repairs Immediately for Dry Lips. This is antioxidant rich and elderberry. And I do not think I have this lip balm. If you know me, I love my lip balms and I love my nail balms. And like every year I would tell the kids you can buy my lip balm or makeup for Christmas, birthday, anniversary, Mother's Day. And I like candles as well, but I do collect candles. And this is what it looks like packaging. I want to open it. I'm going to peel this off here. This is the tab. I'm going to open this because I want to smell this. And I do have a, what do you call it? A container over here that has burnt bees lip balms in it. Oh my god, it smells so good. That's what it looks like. Let's see. I'm definitely going to be using this, but maybe not yet. I got to finish the ones I'm using. I don't have a tint, but it is soft and. Oh my god. You know what? I'm not wearing any lipstick. My goodness. Oh. Okay. I did put some on my lips. You can feel the antioxidants working on your lips. I can feel the top, not the bottom as much as the top, tingling. So that is so good. I love me tingling. I like to see tingle, tingle, tingle. Okay. Anyway, let's do it. Now, the next thing I 
picked up. It says new look same great formula. I've never tried it before. This is Milani S P F B F F SPF 30. And this is a primer. Bog burn serum, sunscreen. Something you should be using every day, whether it's wintertime or summertime. I always put sunscreen on when you go out in case you never know. You can get the right. You can also get wind burn and it'll turn into sunburn as well. I found that out the hard way. Let's see here. If you have tried this, let me know what y'all think because I'm just now opening this and I'm going to test it out. But now next, not this Monday, but next Monday, I'll probably have the burnt bees in this in that video because I'm definitely going to be trying this out. It looks like that. No. Oh. Oh. It's got a little lotion scent. It smells like a lotion, but it's not a lotion. But it, oh, that feels so good on the skin. I am like freaking dog butt tired. I've been so busy. I've been so busy cleaning my office. My husband had all these uniforms in his workshop, and he got, I guess, got bored yesterday and decided to wash them. I had to go hang them out on the clothesline, which I did, and I'm like, he's taking them off. But then I was going to wait until he got home today and take them off the line then and ask him what he wanted me to do with them. Because they're like still dirty, but still look dirty, staining, and nasty. So I let them have his way and washed. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you did not enjoy this video, then give it a thumbs down. If you want more depth, depth, more depth review on this, let me know because. I'm definitely going to be doing more on this product. This was $12.99. A little pricey. But then you get $2 off at Walgreens. Because at Walgreens at $12.99 you get $2 off. It's like a sunscreen. And I will definitely say that if I definitely like this product, I definitely will be repurchasing it and stockpiling it in my makeup collection. And this is a moisturizer. My eyes aren't focusing right now because I'm so tired. So until next time, guys, I hope you have a blessed, wonderful Sunday.